There's something straight ahead. And it's just on the screen. Larry, we're looking at there the... There it is, uh, right there. There we go. Is that the walk itself? Well, this is the object. This is the object. Okay, this is on... Looks like a piece of the, the wreck, I think. Yeah. We'll give it a check for unknown 48. This isn't unknown 48. This is something we saw while we were looking for unknown 48. Oh, okay. I, oh. I'm sorry. Okay. This looks like the bridge, uh, yeah, right? It does. It, yeah. it does look like the bridge. like the bridge. And I guess in reading the report, it said the bridge and superstructure was blown off. Yeah, the bow oh, structure the was blown off. We've just come across a, a large piece of what looks like the walk, we assume, because it's okay. it's nearby it. I'm looking at a picture of the walk at Mare Island after her last refit just before the, you know, in August of 42. Yeah, that looks yeah, like it's definitely the bridge, huh? Like yeah. the yeah. door, that, windows. There's the bridge. Yeah. I don't think this has been dived on previously. Jacob, could you give us a, a distance between here and the assumed position? I can. Oh, direct, it's... please. Thank you. 34 meters, 34 30, and a half. 34 meters, okay, thank you. So it looks like we are seeing a portion of the USS Walker Sims class destroyer. Wow, look at that. It's incredible. The hatch is open. <laughs> is it? Oh, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the hatches because they yeah. make you realize the size of a human. Incredible. Wow, look at the crack there. That's the rangefinder on the uh, director. Director. Yeah. Think direct, yeah. You know, it's interesting to note the condition of this one versus some of the others we've yeah. seen. I like the starfish. Yeah, yeah. this is the very top. Yeah, the yeah. Very... Wow, look at that. That's it. it just keeps going. Wow, you can see the structure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, is that a yeah. shell? A shell. That looks like a shell, yeah. yeah. No touchy. Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Japanese, Japanese ordnance tended to be a little sensitive, so <laughs> make sure you treat that with the respect it deserves, please. What would we be looking for? What defining measurements would tell us? Can we get a close-up of the nose of it? It looks sure. like there's a ring. So there's a ring there. I don't think that's a, that's not a projectile at that point. That's going to be something else. Something else, yeah. Either yeah, either. I'm thinking torpedo yeah. warhead. It's scary. Because torpedoes have that little loop there on the nose. I think that's a torpedo head. Yeah, fellows ashore are confirming a torpedo were warhead. Yeah. I feel like that's even more reason not to touch it. That is yeah. definitely yeah. a reason not to go near it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the little uh, carabiner or something right there as well. Those are oh, one right of the hooks there. that you, you hook it together and then it latches onto something. Yep. Wow. The dimensions that we got, I think, are more in line with a U.S. torpedo. A Japanese one would be like... Looks like it'd fit in that hole, to be honest. Jonathan says the hook on the rear is for assembling the warhead to the torpedo body. And apparently, yes, my uh, my guess was correct. He was about to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's find our way to the end of whatever end that is. And Unfortunately, we'll... the after action report indicates the bow is blown off. All right, let's do this turn. It looks like we might be roughly amidships. Oh. It almost looks like a cradle for a boat. There's some destruction. This must be the bow then. Huh? Or what's left Whoa. of it. So it would have blown off just ahead of this forward torpedo launcher. And then the bridge would have was obviously blown over the side too, so Yeah, that's the bridge, right? So that's this is the torpedo launcher. So somewhere around the spunnel. We're probably not going to see the two forward gun mounts, yeah. right? Unless they're just you know detached and then the debris here. But I believe the forward magazine detonated when the torpedo hit. So, God, and she was also hammered by um, Japanese cruisers as well. Wow. Her bow is reported to have kind of floated a little bit before sinking, and her crew were drifting in the battle area and had a couple harrowing moments where. Um, Japanese ships came upon them, put the spotlight on them, gave us some anxious minutes for the survivors. And then the next morning, they uh, witnessed the U.S. aircraft destroying the Japanese transports landing nearby on the island of Guadalcanal. Wow. Is that a seaplane launch right there? No, that's oh, that a door. torpedo mount. Oh, a torpedo, torpedo launcher. There should be two on this ship, and we've only seen, I think, one. Can you go up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see the rotating. Yeah, uh, that's is that the, the second uh, torpedo launcher right there? Yep, yep. it is. <gasps> so yeah. both torpedo launchers wow. are there. 
It's funny how the hatches are so much more sturdy than the actual bulkheads. Everything else around it's eroded. Yeah, Jonathan comments that the hatches were made of aluminum to save weight, usually. Mm. Certainly less likely to rust okay. if it's the mm. right alloy. There's a ladder. So that's where the bridge has detached, I believe, or the forward superstructure. So if that's the end, there's about, if I count it correctly, about 50 meters of recognizable hull left from a vessel that was 106 meters long. Yeah. I mean, it's missing both sides. Yeah. That's crazy to me. It kind of gives you a good indication of the ferocity of that last battle. There were some reports that even though they were on safe that some of her depth charges exploded after she sank and uh, the concussion killed some of the survivors, but oh, the that stern another, is, is that, That's another torpedo. Yeah, that. I see that yep. right see, there on the it's, end. Wow. Yep. They're probably dislodged. Don't touch that either. This is the only target I've seen. We're not exactly sure what this is. It's most likely a portion of the walk, which was the previous wreck that we just looked at since we're within a close distance from that area and that the walk was sunk by some depth charge explosion. So partly why this particular wreck is a bit more scattered in its debris field. Can I get the oh. laser again for the... Lasers on, please, Tim. Oh, yeah. that's what... Lasers on. Sha that's what they mean by a shaft bearing. That's the, uh... Might be like the... I think they mean the part that, uh... Like the back of the ship where the, uh... Where the shaft goes through there. Yeah, and then the propellers are right after that. Yeah, and then, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm constantly unsure how to disentangle causes of sinking and damage from after the fact and well, hitting the I mean, floor. Yeah, and it's hard to tell sometimes because you have damage, sinking, and then the impact of the seafloor. So, and then corrosion later. And then corrosion, and corrosion. later. 